Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today, we'll talk about Rule 3 of the responsibilities of the investigator according to good clinical practice. More after the break. Rule 3. Record study data carefully. The case report forms must be completed fully and legibly. Legible and accurate completion of the forms is essential because data are sent back and forth several times and are often not read by physicians in the data management, but rather by data entry managers, biometricians, or mathematicians. Illegible data entries result in a request for clarification of data, a so-called query. In many cases, queries include the note, data not legible, referring to illegible handwriting. It is not only annoying for investigators to write data properly twice, but the creation of queries is an expensive process as well. In case of an incorrect entries, all subsequently made corrections must be dated and initialed in order that they are documented clearly and comprehensibly. When corrections are made, the original entry may not be deleted. Furthermore, the use of correcting fluids is absolutely to be avoided because correcting fluids make the original entry unreadable and the corrections incomprehensible. A case report form contains guidelines for filling out the form, which vary only slightly from sponsor to sponsor. Block letters should be used if you have no legible handwriting and of course, you should use a dark ballpoint pen. The number of the study sites and the patient number must be noted on each page of the case report form. Fill in the case report form and all study data according to their source data documentation as soon as possible while details are still fresh in your memory. Furthermore, remember to always fill in all required pages and data fields. In the case that certain data are not acquired by you, for example, enter not measured, or in the case of unknown details enter unknown. It is important for you to inform the data management that missing entries are not caused by forgotten entries. When filling in the form, consider that the purpose of the case report form is to record study-related data and not to record primary source data. Primary data must first be entered in the patient S medical record. Electronic case report forms are increasingly used these days. This approach has numerous advantages such as ensuring the legibility of data at all times or the automatic logic checks to catch errors. In the case of electronic case report forms, as well as in the case of paper case report forms, both should be filled in by you as soon as possible after visiting the patient. In case of corrections in electronic case report forms, and also in paper case report forms, it is essential to create a so-called audit trail this implies that it must be documented comprehensibly which amendments were made by whom. In electronic systems, this usually occurs automatically and due to the fact that you need to log in with your username and password, the author of the data is traceable. This also applies to electronic medical records, in which amendments in source documents must be comprehensible as well. In the course of an audit trail, Corrections in paper case report forms must follow a certain standard. The incorrect entry must be struck out with one solid line so that the original entry is still readable. Then the corrected entry is made and the correction is initialed by date and initials or signature. It is also crucial that only persons authorized according to the delegation log make corrections. In general, do not use abbreviations for entries in the case report form, except for abbreviations already given by the case report form. When documenting diagnosis, adverse events, concomitant medication, etc., abbreviations must not be used. You should in any case avoid inventing your own abbreviations. Even if you as a medical professional think that your abbreviations are clear, it won't necessarily be clear to data management. Always look at the case report form as a whole in order to be better able to assess if certain entries could be seen as illogical from the perspective of data management. Here you see some examples of typical queries. One of the most common queries refers to the case 
that the trade name of a drug is noted instead of the generic name. The generic names are identical worldwide, however, the trade names are not. Also, the entry of the current date instead of the date of birth is a very common error. And finally, small translation errors occur very frequently. So much about the Rule 3 for investigators. We will look into each of the 12 rules in future videos, so stay tuned. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time.